Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here today. Today's video, we're gonna be doing some shopping for some florals, some planting and decorating. So I'm super excited to have you here. We're gonna start the day off with a car wash. My husband's actually driving and we're gonna go shopping after. I definitely get nervous going into car washes. I don't know what it is, but I'm glad he was driving. I got some iced coffee and then we're gonna head to Belgian nurseries and just shop for some beautiful flowers I wasn't sure what I kind of wanted to go with but I love this nursery they have such a huge selection so I knew I would definitely find something that I love so let's go shopping The first thing I seen were these really pretty passion flowers. I've never seen these before. I thought they were so unique and they almost looked tropical to me, um, but I thought they were just really pretty. They had Gerber daisies and I've never really used these in my flower beds. Um, and then they just had some begonias, lilies. I love the mandevillas. I've never had them, but I think my dad's had them. I think they're so beautiful and they grow to be quite large. I also thought these were very unique looking. I love how bright they are, but I just thought they were a bit expensive for $14.99 each. And then this is also the first time I've seen these flowers. To me, they look like mini carnations and they had the pink and the red. I just thought they were so gorgeous. They had lots of hanging baskets of petunias for $19.99. I really love the variegated flowers. I just think they're so pretty. These looked very wild to me. And then they also had some larger pots that were $39.99. And I love the pinks. Um, I did decide to go with pink this year and I think it was because they looked so gorgeous in the nursery. It just really inspired me to add some pink and I don't think I've ever used just pinks and whites in my flower beds before. I've used purple, yellows, whites, um, but never the pinks. So I'm super excited to kind of see how everything comes together. And they just had such a big selection here. I love the classic white too because you really can pair it with kind of any color. I was just checking to see and these were also $19.99 and they were so big. I was actually surprised they weren't $24.99 or $29.99. So this is kind of our little haul that we ended up getting at Belgian Nurseries. I think we spent around $110, um, but I just love all the color combinations, the light pinks with the brighter pinks and then the whites. And everything was just so full and lush, so I really felt like it was worth the money. And they had this really big cactus section. The cactuses were huge. I just thought that was so cool. And I was just really happy with all these florals and the price that we got them for. We did end up going to Costco because they had the best price for the flats of flowers. They were $15.99 for $24. And I ended up going with some wave petunias and then these really soft pink ones. And I just could not beat that price. And then we stopped at another little nursery. It was called John's Nursery. And this one was really overpriced. Um, I just thought it was really expensive. It's a smaller nursery, so that may be why. But I just love to go to nurseries this time of year it's one of my favorite things to do and just kind of check out what they have and I fell in love with these little pink flowers they look like mini roses to me these were actually a really good price it was $2.99 for four so I ended up getting two of these 
Our last little stop um, for our nurseries was the Cedar Crest Nursery. It's Mennonite owned. Um, I love this place. I actually come here in the fall to get my pumpkins. And it's definitely a smaller type of nursery, but they have such beautiful decor for great prices. And I'm just showing you now kind of everything I got. I ended up getting some potato vines. I love those just to add some filler or spiller to my um, pots. So I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I think they were around $2.50 each, so a really good price. And of course, I went with my petunias and geraniums, kind of my classic flowers. I didn't really deviate from them, but I seem to do really well with those. And I don't have the greenest thumb, so I wanted to stick with what I was good at. And just these variegated flowers are so stunning. It almost looks like pink with either a fuchsia or a red. Um, but I love everything and I'm so excited to get everything planted. So this is how our front flower bed looks right now. It looks really sad. Actually, it needs a lot of help. Um, just after a long Canadian winter, everything just is looking kind of rough, so I'm excited to spruce it up. But we do have some beautiful hostas. We actually split them in the fall because they were getting too big for this front flower bed, and they came back big again. <laughs> um, this gorgeous rock was my mom's, and it's one of my most prized pieces out here. It's so beautiful. And then I also also have this really pretty rose bush it's gotten so big that was from my sister-in-law Amy and brother Andrew that's another really special piece and then I have this kind of ground cover um, I ended up taking out some of this also because that can tend to overwhelm your flower beds too so I kind of pared that down um, but I love all the pops of green and I love hostas they add so much to a space and really help fill it in so you don't have to do as much many flowers um, I just think they're so beautiful so I can't wait to kind of spruce this up and make it look really fresh and all ready for summer entertaining the rule of thumb here in Canada is you don't plant until after the May 2-4 weekend, which is actually this weekend. I know in the States you guys have a holiday next weekend. So if it does drop below um, zero, I will end up just putting towels over everything just to kind of keep the warmth in there. And then there's my little baby Holstein. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you would probably not know that he had an ear infection again. Um, it's been kind of a little rough week for him, but he's on antibiotics and ear drops and he's feeling a lot better. So I'm thinking we switch groomers and she doesn't pluck his ears as much. So because he is so hairy, I think kind of all that hair and the moisture, it's just causing ear infections. So he is on the mend, but I'm gonna start by edging my flower beds. My dad actually taught me that. He has beautiful gardens and the reason you kind of edge is because the grass will start to creep and grow into your flower beds so i always edge it creates such a nice crisp clean line and it just makes everything kind of pop when you do add the mulch and the flowers so i'm just going to spend a few minutes going around and just kind of edging this whole front flower bed let me know in the comments if you guys have started your gardening or what the weather's like where you guys are. I know we just have to wait longer than most in Canada because it does dip down still kind of low in the evenings. We've had frost probably last week um, and we're still not really in the clear totally, but hopefully we don't get any more frost. Um, but like I said, I'll just cover it with some towels if um, we do. I'll just keep an eye on the weather for the next few weeks but hopefully it's not an issue. And as you can see, I'm pulling out huge chunks of clay. Um, I find the dirt up here, it's more clay-like, um, which isn't ideal for growing flowers. So I always like to add some soil um, just to kind of break up that really heavy clay that seems to be really in the front yard. So like I mentioned, it is the long weekend here in Canada. I love to kind of do my gardening this time of the year always. And it just gives me a little bit more time when I do have that long weekend because I do work full time Monday to Thursday. So this kind of just gives me some more time to get my gardening done. But I find it so therapeutic. 
I love just kind of making our front yard our oasis. We sit out so much and I just love flowers. I feel like they bring me so much happiness and joy. And our summers are so short here in Canada, really just from May to August, and then it starts getting cold again. So I like to spend as much time as I can outside, just enjoying the flower bed. And because I do mulch, I find that I don't have as much weeding to do, which is really nice. And I feel like the edging just really helps kind of contain everything and kind of keep the weeds at bay. So once I kind of finish mulching, you'll see how it all comes together. But I'm just going to finish edging and then we'll move on to the next step. So this is just all the dirt and debris and weeds kind of that I have left from the edging. And as you can see here, it looks really crisp and fresh and it made such a difference just spending a few minutes and doing that extra step. Um, and it's so satisfying. <laughs> and I'm gonna go in and just kind of get a few of the weeds and debris um, that's kind of left over from last winter. So what I like to do before I actually start planting is kind of just group everything or arrange it, I guess, how I want it to be in the front garden. It just helps me visualize how I want to plant everything and it just kind of sets me up for success and that way I'm just not putting too many light colored flowers close together. Um, it's just kind of how I've always done it. I really wanted to space out the white and the various pink ones. So I find for me this just helps me really visualize it and that way I can switch things around before I actually start planting if I don't love how they look. So I knew I wanted to take these little flowers and kind of place them all along the edge of my flower garden here. I'm so glad I got this pack. It was so inexpensive, like I said, $15.99 for $24, which is such a good price. Um, at the greenhouses, they wanted a lot more. So we ended up getting that Costco membership from my husband's family for Christmas. And I feel like it comes in so handy, especially in the summer because they have such good prices on their florals. Um, so I love these little flowers. I think they're so sweet and they just add such a pretty pop of pink right around the edges. And then of course I have my petunias. I love these because they really do spread out. Um, the only drawback is you have to deadhead them a lot. So they are a little bit more maintenance than some flowers like geraniums. Um, but I do love how they spread and they're typically pretty inexpensive. So now that I'm ready to plant, how I typically plant, like I said, the soil is very clay-like. So I take some fresh soil um, just so I have something kind of to hold the flower in place. And then I immediately water it. I always try to keep everything really well watered, especially when I'm planting. Um, but there's baby Holstein. He's so sleepy. He's enjoying this beautiful day. It's about 18 degrees Celsius. Um, so it's not too hot, not too cold. There's a nice breeze. So he was just in enjoying his porch time and then I'm gonna go in with these sweet little flowers I love them they are pretty petite and I'm not sure how well they'll do if they kind of grow or spread um, because I've never used these before so I'm kind of excited to see how these look I did end up placing two together just to make it a little bit more substantial so I did end up planting everything now, um, but as you can see, nothing's really popping. It's all kind of blending together. So my favorite part is adding the mulch because you can really see how the colors pop. And I always end up using black mulch. My sister uses red, they're both beautiful, but I'm really drawn to the black mulch. I picked this up from Walmart and I ended up needing about three bags for my front garden. Um, and I think it was around $4 a bag, but I just ended up filling it in and I just think it looks so gorgeous. I always keep an extra bag on hand and I can kind of touch it up throughout the summer. But I love mulch not only for how it kind of looks and makes your flowers pop, but it also kind of helps lock in the moisture. So if you live in an area that's really dry or hot, this can really help keep your flowers hydrated. 
because the mulch bags are so large, I typically just dump it into a pot and this just makes it a lot easier for me to kind of just walk around with this and spread the mulch around easily. I know some people just dump a big pile into their garden and use a rake, but mine's a little bit smaller and there's a lot of little flowers so I find it just easier to kind of use my hands and spread it everywhere. I did have garden gloves on but for some reason I just find it a lot more therapeutic to just use my hands. Um, they wear black after this so definitely need a good shower but I just had so much fun being out in the garden and just enjoying that warm summer sunshine. Let me know what colors or what flowers you love to use in your flower beds or if you have any suggestions. Um, for me, the sun rises at the back of the house and then kind of sets at the front. So we get a lot of direct sunlight around three o'clock. So I don't know, I can't have anything really that's a shade plant. I love begonias, but they would just uh, roast out here. <laughs> so I just try to go with um, plants that do well in the sun. But let me know if you have any suggestions of any other plants that you've used in the past that have done well. I would love to hear what you guys are using or what you love to use. I can't believe how fast May is flowing by. I feel like we just started it and we're almost at the end of May. I feel like summer is just going to fly by, which is kind of sad because we don't get a lot of warm weather here and I truly love to be outside. Um, so summer is just a really special time, especially if you're Canadian or live somewhere where it's really cold most of the year. Um, so tonight we're actually going to be barbecuing and then tomorrow it's back to work. But it was so nice having this long weekend and this is kind of how everything turned out now that I have the mulch in I just love it and things are really going to spread out and grow so I'll have to show you guys kind of in a few weeks how everything's looking um, once it kind of starts to grow a little bit more but I absolutely love it and I did want to make some little pots for my steps I wanted to bring in a little bit of pink there so I'm taking one of these big pots they were 20 or 19.99 and I'm just going to split them into two and this is just a great way to get a little bit more for your money because they are so large, you can kind of split them up and make two pots for the price of one. I decided I did want to add some white too, so I'm going to take one of my petunia baskets and kind of split this one. This was hard to split actually, it was definitely tighter, the roots, so I really had to work at it to kind of split it. Um, but I just split that in two and I'm going to add that to the pot also. The last thing I'm going to add to the pot is this spiller. You know the rule of thumb, a filler, a spiller, and a thriller, I think they kind of say. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping this really um, kind of drapes down. It's a potato plant, I think. Um, but I love that bright green color. I think it's so pretty. And I just love this little pot I made. I think it's super cute. And I ended up saving money kind of by making my own little pot. And I love how it just brings the pink up onto the porch. So I'm just kind of flanking both sides of the steps. I did realize though, kind of once I had it up, it needed more of the pink flowers. So I just ended up taking them from both sides of the steps and I'll just have to get a few more. That's totally fine. Um, so I'm just kind of filling in this one to make it a little bit more fuller and kind of balance the other side. I could probably use one more, but that's okay. I'll just stop at the nursery. And sometimes gardening, you just kind of have to get started and then just kind of buy more as you need it so I always think I have enough and then sometimes I always end up needing a little bit more so I absolutely love how this turned out I think it's so beautiful and I love the pops of pink and me and Holstein are just going to relax now have some ice cream and enjoy the rest of the long weekend so take care friends God bless